Good day, my grade 10 learners. I am Lady Lynn Andro Kid, a TLE teacher of Matacon National High School. Welcome to this learning episode in TLE 10. Join me as we develop your life skills in electrical installation and maintenance. Get your pen, paper, and self-learning module so that you can follow me for today's learning activities. Let's begin our EIM journey. To know if you have prior knowledge about our lesson, please answer the pre-test. I will read each item and you are going to choose the letter of the correct answer. And you will write your answer on a separate sheet of paper. Number 1. This is designed to guard people and pets from severe or even fatal electrical shock. A. Circuit Breaker GFCI B. GFCI C. Portable GFCI or letter D. Receptacle GFCI What is your answer? Very good, letter B, GFCI. Number 2. This GFCI is used in place of a regular wall outlet or duplex receptacle. A. Circuit breaker GFCI. B. GFCI. C. Portable GFCI. Or letter D. Receptacle GFCI. What is your answer? Very good. Letter D. Receptacle GFCI. Number 3. This is the type of GFCI that will shut off power to the circuit in case of ground fault and turn the power off if the short circuit or overload detected. A. Circuit breaker GFCI B. GFCI C. Portable GFCI or letter D. Receptacle GFCI What is your answer? Very good! It is letter A. Circuit Breaker GFCI Number 4 This GFCI contained the GFCI circuitry in an enclosure with black bronze at the back and receptacle in front. A. Circuit Breaker GFCI B. GFCI C. Portable GFCI or letter D. Receptacle GFCI What is your answer? Very good! It is letter C. Portable GFCI Number 5 A classic and old appliances at home is one of the examples of GFCI because of loose bare wire inside it touching the outer metal housing. A. Induction cooker B. Oven toaster C. Rice cooker or D. Water heater What is your answer? Very good letter B. Oven toaster Before we move on to our lesson, let us have a recap of our lesson last week. Very good, it is about GFCI information and guide in selecting wiring devices. High resistance faults from poor wiring connection in switch, light, and receptacle boxes are the most likely areas for fire hazards. So proper wiring skill and technique at this stage are imperative. Responsibility for people's safety should be an electrician's number one priority in all work performed. Plug it in before we start our lesson switch. for today. Let's watch first oh, 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 oh. because oh. later we will Are be having okay? activity Mike? based on this video. Yeah, how about you? I am not okay, you little monkey. How could you? use a dryer with wet hands. You could have been grilled. I didn't know it.
What can you say about the video? Very good! It is about electrical shock in comfort room. It is unsafe to act because the area is wet and the monkey touches the floor with wet hands. What will you do to avoid electrical accident? Very good! Do not use electrical equipment with wet hands and use ground fault circuit interrupter. That video is related to our topic for today. But first, let us know what is our target objective. At the end of this learning episode, you will be able to identify the types of ground fault circuit interrupters, classify the types of ground fault circuit interrupters, and value the importance of appropriate devices to be installed. Our topic for today is about types of wiring devices, ground fault circuit interrupter. Let us know first how does GFCI work. The GFCI continually measures electricity flowing within a circuit to detect any loss of current. If the current passing through the circuit fluctuates even in a small amount from the current that is returning to complete the circuit, the GFCI instantaneously switches the power off to the affected circuit. The GFCI interrupts power within the milliseconds to prevent a lethal dose of electricity. A classic example of the GFCI at work, your toaster is old and has a loose bare wire inside it touching the outer metal housing. If the toaster is plugged in, the housing is charged with electricity. You are cleaning the kitchen and moving countertop items around. When you touch the toaster housing with one hand while the other hand is touching a grounded metal object like a kitchen faucet, you will receive a life-threatening shock. If the toaster is plugged into a GFCA protected outlet, the power will be turned off before a fatal shock is delivered through your body. There are different types of GFCI. The receptacle GFCI, temporary or portable GFCI, and circuit breaker GFCI. So what is receptacle GFCI? It is used in place of a regular wall outlet or duplex receptacle. This GFCI is normally found throughout the house in places such as bathrooms, kitchens, garage, outdoor areas, and other locations where damp condition may exist. The receptacle GFCI fits into the standard outlet box and protects you against ground faults. When an electrical product is connected to the GFCI protected outlet, modern homes use receptacle type GFCI that will protect other electrical outlets connected on the branch circuit. This GFCI is integrated in the electrical outlet and constantly tracks the current flowing in a circuit to sense fluctuation in real time. It has three holes, two of the holes are for neutral and hot wire, and the third hole in the middle of the holes are serves as a ground wire. If it detects any change in the electrical flow in the circuit, it will immediately cut off the flow of electricity. So if you are using a hair dryer for instance, and it slips into a sink that is filled with water, the GFCI outlet will immediately sense the interruption and cut the power to ensure electrical safety in the bathroom and beyond. Number 2. Temporary or Portable GFCI When a permanent GFCI is not practical, temporary GFCI is used. Temporary GFCI contains the GFCI circuitry in an enclosure with plug prongs at the back and receptacle plugs in front. 
it can be plugged into an unprotected outlet. And then the electrical appliances or device is plugged into the temporary GFCI. Portable GFCI is simply an extension cord combined with a GFCI. It adds flexibility in using receptacles that are not protected by GFCI. Extension cords with GFCI protection incorporated are great for use when permanent or portable GFCI. The third type of GFCI is circuit breaker GFCI. Residences equipped with circuit breaker must have circuit breaker GFCI protections installed in the panel box to give protection for specific circuits. The circuit breaker GFCI serves two functions. Number one is the circuit breaker GFCI will shut off power to the circuit in the instance of a ground fault. And the GFCI protected circuit breaker will turn power off if a short circuit is detected. GFCI circuit breakers protect the entire circuit. GFCI circuit breakers are simple by installing one in service panel or breaker box. It adds GFCI protection to an entire circuit, including the wiring in all devices and appliances connected to the circuit. In cases where AFCI or arc fault circuit interrupt protection is also called for an increasingly common scenario. There are dual function, GFCI and AFCI circuit breakers that can be used. GFCI circuit breaker make more practical since in situation where all outlets on a circuit require protection. For example, let's say you're adding a receptacle circuit for a garage workshop or a large outdoor patio space. Because all of these receptacles require GFCI protection, it is probably more efficient to wire the circuit with a GFCI breaker so that everything on the circuit is protected. GFCI breakers can carry a high cost, though, so do doing this is not always the more economical option. Alternately, you could install a GFCI outlet in the first outlet on the circuit to provide the same protection at a lower cost. Let us have another activity to know what you have learned. It is named AMO or DIRI. You already know that AMO and DIRI is a Rikunado word which is your mother tongue. AMO means yes and DIRI means no. You will write AMO if the statement is correct and DIRI if it is not. Are you ready? Okay, very good. Let's start now. Receptacle GFCI is used in place of a regular wall outlet or duplex receptacles. Is it AMO or DIRI? Very good, it is AMO. Number 2. Circuit breaker GFCI is normally found throughout the house in places such as bathrooms, kitchens, garage, outdoor areas, and other locations where dump conditions may exist. What is your answer? Very good, it is DIRI because it should be receptacle GFCI. Number 3. The receptacle GFCI fits into the standard outlet box and does not protect you against ground faults when an electrical product is connected to the GFCI protected outlet. What is your answer? Very good, it is DIRI because it will protect you against ground fault. Number 4 Portable GFCI is simply an extension cord combined with a GFCI and are great for use when permanent or portable GFCI protection is unavailable. Very good. The correct answer is AMO. Number 5. The circuit breaker GFCI serves two functions. 
for circuit breaker, GFCA will not shut off power to the circuit in the instance of a ground fault. And the GFCA protected circuit breaker will not turn power off if a short circuit or overload is detected. What is your answer? Very good, Diri, because it will automatically shut off the power if uh, it detected the ground fault. For your assignment, for those students with smartphone and internet access, you will pretend that you are a blogger. Research on how a circuit interrupter works and make a 3 minutes plug and you will upload it on our GC. And for those students without internet and cell phone, pretend that you are a blogger or a writer and write about how circuit interrupter works. Or, you are going to present how GFCI works by using comic or drawing. These four rubrics, the criteria are content, presentation, and timeliness. So let me end this episode with this quote from Eleanor Everett. For safety is not a gadget, but a state of mind. So safety in general tends to focus on what's wrong in order to make it right. Yet, today as a profession, we seek to incorporate an understanding of the challenges faced by our organization with how to approach safety and be successful. Safety professionals know presenting safety as an asset to the business includes a mindset. One can be of value and solve more issues by measuring success to resolve problems. That will be all. Thank you.